Good morning, good morning. Happy Saturday morning, everyone. I thought that it would be fun um, to go through and um, one of my, um, what you guys were commenting on the posts that I put up just a little while ago asking for ideas for what you guys might like to see uh, me do some live tutorials on. And um, so I have began making a list of ideas for um, gift giving ideas. Um, we're going to use some tags, uh, different ways to dress up treats and uh, so forth. So I have, I have started a list. Oh my word. It is crazy stinking long already. Um, and this is, <clears throat> this is something that I uh, did several years ago and I have not done since, but um, I thought it would be a really fun way to dress up um, to be able to uh, dress up like a pop a container of popcorn. And I'm kind of thinking, um, I don't know about you guys, but possibly um, these could be some ideas that you could use um, to give gifts to people that, you know, somebody that you wouldn't actually buy a great, you know, you wouldn't buy a sweater for or, you know, a keyless injury system or something like that. Something that um, would be a fun little treat to give to your postman or um, even a co-worker or, you know, parents of your kiddos friends and that type of thing. So just things that are um, maybe inexpensive that you could give a little treat. Um, and these are also ideas that we could use year round. So um, I, of course, have the Tis the season paper here on my on my uh, table today, but this could also be something that you guys could use. Um, this could be a Halloween treat. Um, you could dress this up with Halloween paper. This could be a Valentine gift or just a little thank you to brighten your day type of thing. Um, do you guys know one of the you know one of those people that just it seems like every time they come around they have a little treat um, to kind of brighten your day or you come to your desk at work and there's a little treat on your desk. Something like this would be really cute, um, really fun, super easy. And um, we're essentially just probably using scraps to do it with. So um, nothing that's going to take a lot of time or investment or anything like that. So um, let's go ahead and get started. So again, we're just, for those that are popping on, we are just um, <clears throat> today going to dress up one of the, um, this is just a little sleeve of popcorn, just the microwavable popcorn. It's none of that gourmet fancy schmancy stuff because that's not really how we roll. Um, so what we're going to do today, and I have... <clears throat> Pardon me, just a few measurements here for you guys. So the sleeve that I'm using now, um, there may be different um, sizes of popcorn. I really don't know. I've not looked into it. Um, so you guys will probably, whenever you grab your popcorn that you want to dress up, you probably want to just run a ruler around it to make sure that um, you have a long enough and wide enough piece of paper. But for me today, I'm using... Uh, five and a half by eight and a half. And it's, incidentally, those are the same measurements that a standard A2 card base uh, calls for. So it'd be easy to remember. Um, five and a half by eight and a half is what the the white and red uh, striped Christmas paper is going to be for the sleeve. And then um, we have used, uh, this is about three quarters of an inch by, or I'm sorry, pardon me, three eighths of an inch um, by uh, three and three quarters, so 3.75. And this is going to be, this is going to end up being our little stamped, uh, little dovetailed uh, tag down here at the very bottom. And then the other four images that we used, now you guys, I got a little bit extreme. I love the thin cutting and I love the tags. So you don't have to use four images. I used four because it dressed it up a little bit and it didn't take any time at all for me to cut those out. But I used four, um, four tags from the... Uh, from the fancy tags set and yes, I have been taking mine off of the magnetic plates because the last lady that did my nails She has the angle a little bit crazy and I can't pick up I can't pick them up off of the magnetic plate and it's driving me bonkers So um, I tossed them in so I can get these nails off. I toss them in a little Tupperware container. So uh, we use the large uh, square stitched tag. This is my favorite of all of them that are on the set, this uh, stitch tag here. So we've got the stitch tag and we used the heart tag. Whoops. Use the heart. And I don't know what you would call this one. Just a little long, maybe a little narrow tag. This was the other one that we used. And um, I cut two of the large uh, stitched Sorry, guys, you can hear my pups outside. Um, and no, I did not bloody my finger. This is a little trick you're going to see in just a minute. Just be prepared to have your mind blown, okay? Because this is a trick I didn't know about. Boy, we learned a lot during Stamp of the Month virtual class the other night. I got taught a lot of stuff, and I'm pretty darn giddy about it. So I'm going to show you guys this trick here in just a minute. So that's where all the blood and the marker and everything's coming from my fingers. It's not blood, red marker, but 
Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. So this is, I'm not even kidding you guys, it's going to take like a half a second to do this, okay? So we just, this is just the five and a half by eight and a half <clears throat> cardstock. And all you're going to do is just wrap it around. Good morning, everyone who's hopping on. Um, we're just wrapping this around uh, the popcorn. And you just want it snug. There's like, guys, there's nothing to this. This takes no... This takes no intelligence whatsoever. Your kids could probably do this. Um, if you guys have Sunday school uh, kiddos, if you happen to teach a Sunday school class, this might be a fun project for them to be able to um, create a treat uh, for a loved one in Sunday school. So you're just wrapping this around, and I've just secured it with a little bit of adhesive. Seriously, like no rocket science at all. And um, as I mentioned again, you guys do not have to use... Hang on, I'm going to put my light-colored mat here so that you can see it a little bit better with that black. Um, you guys do not have to use the double-layer tags. I just, you know me, I like to mention, I like interest, you know, the more the merrier, right? So I cut out two of the large stitched tags. Which stamp did I use on the tag background? Oh, sweetie, this is just the background, this is just the pattern paper. The, um, I didn't stamp anything on the green. So this is one of the collect the um, patterns that come with the Tis the Season paper collection that's um, in the new book. So, no stamping here. The only stamping we did was on the little white uh, tag here. And that stamped image comes from the Christmas countdown set. We use the Merry Making here. You're welcome. You're absolutely welcome. So then we are just, again, like this is taking no time at all, you guys. Oh my gosh. So I am just adding down and we're putting, placing them right over the same hole because our ribbon is going to be um, threaded through that hole. And um, that way we still have a clean, as you guys can see, we still have um, a way to stick that ribbon through there. So we've just added a couple of the glitter tags and I did use um, the gold glitter and the red glitter. And so next we're just snipping a little teeny tiny piece of ribbon and we're going to, well heavens, there we go, okay. And I tell you guys, I never ever ever can remember when we want um, this cute little knot up here where we've just threaded it through, I never can remember which side I need to thread my ribbon on. And I just did this just like 10 minutes before I turned on my camera and I'm still have no idea if I'm doing this right. So. Hang on. Keeping it real. Okay, nope, I did it wrong. Oh my heavens. Heavens, y'all. My goodness. They're already having a good Saturday morning. I am so behind in my office from being gone several days this last week. And I'm trying desperately to catch up, but I am not doing a very good job of it. And this morning, Codeman wanted, um, he was in there snuggling on the couch, and we had the fireplace on. And I have to tell you, I was pretty darn cozy there on the couch with the fireplace. So I was a little bit late in here this morning. Okay, so we just threaded it through. This is just a little bitty short, um, little scrappy piece. So we've just threaded it through. Now we are going to just trim off the tops here. Sharice, you created a monster, girl. I got a whole list of stuff now. Oh my gosh. I have not, uh, I have no problem with ideas now. Totally got a whole list of stuff, okay? Of ideas to do live videos on. So, um, thanks for you guys' input this morning. <laughs> you came on late. What kind of treat is this? Oh, sweetie, it's just, um, it's just a bag of popcorn. Oh my gosh, did I get it a little bit snug? Okay, my sleeve must be a little bit snug. This one will probably come out. Just a little um, little bag of that cheapy popcorn. This is not any like fancy schmancy gourmet popcorn. Um, but uh, we are going to, we just, um, the size of the sleeve is is this actually the same size, Linda, as um, a an A2 card, um, a card base. So it's uh, eight and a half inches by five and a half inches is what we're working with today. Um, and so I'm just dovetailing the ends, guys. And as I mentioned many times, I just snip down the middle and then you'll snip from either side. The middle cut is actually not um, a fundamental portion of the dovetail itself, but it helps to get a little bit more symmetrical uh, dovetail on either side when you guys begin cutting from the outsides. So we're just gonna flip this over you're welcome, sweetheart. So again, I am using the making Merry Making from the Christmas Countdown Holiday Stamp Set and grabbing my Archival Black. Archival Black's actually not 
um, necessary on this project because we are not using the markers or watercolor paints or anything that's going to re-wet the stamp, um, the ink, once it's dried on the paper. So we're not going to have to worry about it smudging or smearing. But Archival Black just really is the black that I tend to go for every single time. If I am not really careful, I will grab the wrong black, and before I know it, my stuff has been smeared when I do use watercolor or markers. So it's just easier for me just to grab black, or the archival black, every single time. So just a really quick um, stamping on here, and then you guys know, like, this is my drill. You know that we have to use the journaling pin. You don't have to. If you're making these in bulk, this might be a step that you possibly want to cut out just to make it a little bit quicker, and that's okay. And you can choose to omit this little tiny dovetailed stamp piece down here um, altogether. And you could just choose to stamp on the big portion of the tag. You could do that as well. <clears throat> Of course, it's just really however you guys would like to do it. So I'm just going to add a teeny tiny bit of adhesive on here. Um, but this is actually not going to be the the um, thing that's going to keep it stuck on here. And you guys are going to see this. Okay, you have to show you this trick. I tell you, my mind was blown the other night. We had... Um, I guess it was Thursday night we had Stamp of the Month virtual class, and that's where all of my customers, when they get the Stamp of the Month for only $5, they get this um, free pre-cut kit mailed to them from me, and then we get together and we put it together in a, on a live during a live demonstration. And so it's like a couple hour long class. It was just a good night of fellowship. We had a great, great time. But throughout our creativity... My team member, Linda Pantalone, I have to give her the uh, credit for this trick because I had never heard of such a thing and I about fell out of my chair. She said, did you guys know that, um, oh, fantastic, You're, they ordered the Boy Scout popcorn. Oh my gosh, Snooki, that's fantastic. Yeah, so these would be really great to um, dress it up and, you know, just like coworkers and mailmen and people that you're not going to buy a sweater for, but um, that you want to give a little treat to. And you could do it. It doesn't have to be Christmas. It could be, you know, you could do this for Halloween. Um, you could do it for a birthday or Valentine. Just swap up your paper for the occasion or just a little thinking of you treat. So it would be a really great day to um, to bless uh, someone's day. How many popcorn treats can you make with each kit? Um, Jennifer, that's not really a kit. I'm just grabbing paper from my stash. The sleeve here is eight and a half by five and a half, and that fits that fits my popcorn. You guys are going to want to measure the popcorn that you buy at the store or that if you're, um, you know, if you buy from the Boy Scouts or whatever, wherever you guys are getting your popcorn, you want to measure them to make sure that your sleeve is going to fit. But just increase the size of your sleeve um, if your popcorn is actually a little bit bigger. So you're watching me on the TV. Oh my gosh, I have to figure out how to do that. I was so excited when Michelle shared that on the team page the other day, Linda. I have to figure out how to do that. I think that would totally be fun. Um, so you didn't see my video description. Okay, I got you now. I got you, girl. Okay, so we are, this is the trick that blew my mind the other night, you guys. I could not even stand it. So I am a little bit kind of wishy-washy about mixing gold and silver, but right now gold is all the rage. And so all of our really beautiful ribbons that Close to My Heart has in their product line right now is are all gold. But I love to use, I love to use our mini stapler to adhere things. And all the staples are silver. And so I kind of struggle using the staples that are silver with my gold ribbon and my gold embellishments. So Linda said, girls, didn't you know you could totally color your staples? And we were like, what? Oh my gosh. So my friend Michelle that was at the class with me, she grabbed the alcohol marker and she had already stapled her staples onto her card. So she started coloring and she's like, ooh, it's kind of messy. And... um. And Linda said, no, 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 you can color them before you put them in the staple gun. And I about fell out of my chair, you guys. I seriously about fell out of my chair. I could not even stand it. She's totally right. Oh my gosh, it works awesome. It works awesome, awesome. So now I grab my third um, craft jar. <coughs> they do, Nikki. Oh my gosh, they look awesome. So, uh, you know, our craft jars come in packages of three. So I added um, some of my loose sequins in either one of these so I could easily grab them with my tweezers and put the mini glue dots on the back to use so I could adhere them on my projects. And so I had my third craft jar and I thought, oh my gosh, my third craft jar now is going to hold my staples. So now I have my little box of mini staples and I have gone and I've taken some of my markers out and I've been playing with them. And so the two that I thought looked 
fabulous today was I colored some red ones and I used the Carmine marker which is our red color in our product line and then the Marigold is the orangey yellow again those are the two colors that I'm wearing on my fingers if you could not tell um, those oh my gosh you guys they're gold they're totally gold and they match perfect so Upon Linda's suggestion and what I did decide this morning is you guys need to take them out and color them while they're still on the six, okay? Then just toss them back in somewhere where you can see them really easily and you can grab them whenever you decide which color you need for a project. I'm really excited. I'm going to go through all of my markers and I'm going to color all different. I'm going to get pink ones and turquoise ones and it's going to, I'm so, so, so excited. But the ones that I messed with this morning was the Marigold and the Carmine. So we have gold, um, gold, uh staples now and red staples now so these are so easy to take out you guys if you have the stapler and um i'm sure everybody knows how to work it and how easy it is but if not you have a really quick dummy demonstration anyway so this little piece back here hooks into this little loop here so you just push it in pull it out okay easy as can be here are my gold staples and you guys don't have to color the whole thing obviously because just the top there is all that's going to show on your project so you just thread them in the little, um, I don't know what you would call it. What do you call that? I have no idea. Put them in the little place where they go. That's what we're calling it today. And push your little, um, your little springy, what are we calling this y'all? Oh my gosh, I don't even know. Pushing something springy, whatever it is, down in here. And you can add the cutest, and you guys know that that little lip there, where that little, um, like you, the little upside down you you can see, is your little lip. And that's going to tell you guys where your staples are going to come out at. So I am just adding a couple there. Oh my gosh, can you see? They're totally gold. I'll, I'll punch a couple on some on some plain white cardstock so you guys can see a little bit better maybe um, whenever I'm done with this. But it is so stinking cute. Oh my gosh. It is so cute, you guys. I cannot even stand it. So stinking cute. So let me punch a couple gold ones here on the white just so you can see. Okay, so can you see that a little better? It's totally gold. Look at that gold shine. It is absolutely gold, and it looks perfect, and they match so well. So let me, while I have this, where they just fall right out. So easy, okay? This is not going to be something that is going to be a trick that's going to like make you want to pull your hair out. They're so easy. Um, I think probably one of the easy, the best ways to do this, guys, is get it into a container that you can see them so you're not like digging around in a bag or something. And you probably don't want to put them back in your little mini stapler box because you're, then you're going to have to dig around and find the color that you want. So um, you may want to make sure you put them in a container where you can see them really well. So look at the red. See if you can see with my lighting. Ugh, you probably can't see. Maybe there, there that red one is kind of shiny. Oh my gosh, it looks so good, you guys. Can you see it? Oh my gosh, it is so cool. So Linda, if you're watching or if you watch this later, I think you do normally watch my videos. Um, thank you. You are absolutely brilliant. So um, that is a little trick, you guys. If you um, have the little mini stapler, um, grab some of your alcohol markers, your shin hand markers, and um, you can use them for more, um, you know, you guys know that we do use these to color the bling. You can color clear bling with them. You can color clear se or, uh, silver or clear sequins or gold sequins with them to give them a different type of look. Um, but pardon me, the latest, uh, the latest tip we can use today with the markers is you guys can color your staples now. So I thought it was quite brilliant. I don't know about you guys, but I was just pretty darn impressed. So now we're just going to add, finish this little um, crazy little thing off with just a little tiny bit of bling. And I'm telling you guys, you could make this really as quick or as um, fancy schmancy as you would like. If you are going to make a ton of these and you want um, to make them super, super quick, you can omit a lot of this uh, fancy stuff if you want. But of course, I just wanted to give you guys some ideas, um, techniques and ideas on what you can um, how you could dress them up. So, yes, me too, Jackie. I tell you, it is so, oh my gosh, it was so funny the other night during class. I thought Michelle and I were going to have a cow. I just couldn't even, I'd never even thought of such a thing. Absolutely never even thought of such a thing. So she was just quite brilliant um, telling us about coloring those staples. So now I, I can, you're going to see my stapler um, a lot more often because now I don't have to just use silver embellishments because the staples are silver. <laughs> Okay, 
All right, guys, so I just grabbed a couple of the uh, glue dots because that's going to be a really, um, really good uh, sturdy adhesive there and give it a little bit of dimension. But, oh my gosh, Sharon, yeah, if you don't have the stapler or the staples, um, you definitely want to grab them. They're not they're not crazy expensive at all, and they'll last you forever. This The little mini packages of the staples, I believe, are $2.95. Um, and I'm pretty sure, in fact, hang on, let me look in the book. I'm pretty sure they had, um, two, okay, 2000 They're $3.50 on page 141, and you get 2,000 staples. So they will last you forever. 2,000 staples for $3.50, and the mini stapler is only $13.95. So it's a super fun embellishment, and now I feel like it's an even more fun embellishment because we can add the color to the staples, and they're going to match tons of different things. So um, that is your trick for today, but you can thank Linda for that because I my brain is not that intelligent, I assure you. So Okay, so this is project number one, you guys. Like I said whenever I started the video, I have a list that's about eight inches long now of fun gift-giving ideas uh, that we can use that are going to be really quick and easy uh, for you guys to use this holiday season or um, for, you know, future uh, holidays, you know, Valentine's and, and Halloween and that type of thing. So stay tuned. Um, you guys are going to see a lot more of these videos coming soon, um, and I hope that they provide a little bit of inspiration for you uh, this time of year. So thanks for joining me today. Day, guys. I hope you have a great day.